we got to talk about breaking news in the sense of yesterday. There's now this rumor that the Raiders are trying to get in on Deshaun Watson, and there's possibly going to be a three-way trade. I don't know if you and I discussed this last week. You were at the Senior Bowl. But I've been floating the idea of a, of a three-way trade with the Lions and possibly New England to get rid of Jimmy G. So it's cool that they're now taking my ideas. Should the Niners get in on this, and should they be interested in Derek Carr in particular? We can talk about Watson after. You want me to start? Yeah. In the, in the case of Derek Carr, let me make sure I, I get this out right. Derek Carr is an upgrade over Jimmy Garoppolo. He is. Right, but like, do you yes. see how my face? You see how my face looked? Okay, it's like a marginal upgrade. It's that's so. So that's my point, right? So when we're talking about upgrade, right? When I'm talking about whatever two first for Derek Carr, Derek <laughs> Carr better elevate. Derek Carr better elevate my team to an immediate Super Bowl contender. Derek Carr does not do that, and it's not enough. And he's he not worth two first round picks. No, no, not two, not two first. He plays though. He plays, you know, and that's the thing, right? He plays his games. He actually is on the field. That helps. Mm -hmm. And like I said. You know, Carr's in the same tier as Jimmy, Cousins, all those guys, right? Yep. But I would say that I would give Carr the edge over Jimmy as far as, like, how he is. But I'm not moving two first rounds to marginally upgrade a position. Or I'm not moving two first rounders just to get a quarterback who will actually be on the field. Like, that's not good business in my, in my, in my opinion. We agree on that. Real quick, let me just make the case for why Carr has value. Not that much, but what, I'm real familiar with John Gruden. I watched him as a kid, and what he does – is anytime a quarterback throws a deep pass and misses, he will get on you for a week. And he'll, after a while, he'll get it to the point where the quarterback only throws down the field if the guy's wide freaking open. And you end up with a quarterback who is at the bottom of the league in air yards per attempt and air yards per completion, and that's what Derek Carr is. Some of that probably is him being cautious, trying not to get hurt. He's had injuries, but I believe it's mostly a product of playing for John Gruden. It's what happens to these guys. They become check down Charlies. So if you could get him to another team, I do think with a, court, a coach who encouraged him to throw down the field, he definitely has the arm to do it. He just lost the mentality, and I blame Gruden. So, again, I wouldn't trade two first-round picks, but if the price was Jimmy in a two, I would do that. Yeah, that might be a little bit more reasonable at that yeah. point. Like I said, the, you know, the upgrade is there. Um, you know, and then it, it's so suspicious, like, how they go about their roster building. Like, why bring Henry Ruggs in if you're not going to have him throwing the ball at all? Like, I just didn't understand that pick. Yeah, and like, <laughs> when they brought in Antonio Brown, I was at the intro, the intro press conference. And I remember, I was like, hey, Coach uh, John, what is the if Omari Cooper didn't fit your offense? How is this thoroughbred gonna? Be? He's like, I don't understand the question. Just right, <laughs> I know. I, I found that clip on Twitter and I bookmarked it, and I was like, I was like, here's Grant like talking to John Gruden, and like the, the guy's like, we're not here to talk about you know Amari Cooper. We're here to talk about Antonio Brown. Like I'm here to but talk about the right guys. point. I mean, dude, yeah. your offense isn't, isn't suited for these type of thoroughbreds. Why are you bringing in Henry Ruggs? And who are you kidding? No one should be surprised that Henry Ruggs didn't really do much as a rookie. It's not his fault. Look at the no, offense no. he's in. Bad fit, bad fit. You know, like I, I had had Ruggs. I had, uh, you know, last year I had Ruggs as the, the guy that I wanted the 49ers to get because I thought it would unlock something in the offense. Take yes. Top of the but when he felt to the, when the Raiders, you know, jumped up and grabbed him, I'm like, that literally makes no sense to me. And, and poor guy. Now people are under the impression that Henry Ruggs isn't good at football. And I don't right. like that idea. And that's not his fault. That's John Gruden's fault. All right, mm -hmm. let's move on. So we both agree. Uh, any team that gets into this three-way trade and actually sends two firsts to Las Vegas so they can create a, a better package for, the, for Watson is nuts. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's going to happen. And we're going to talk later because this quarterback market is, is inflated for some – because the Rams basically – 